Tiffany, thank you. We're following a developing story out of Portsmouth. Two school bus drivers are in trouble with the law for getting into a fight. Let's get right to 10 on your side's Anita Blanton, live in Portsmouth with the details. Anita, can you sort this all out for us? Oh, well, Katie, let me tell you where we are, and then I'm going to walk you through what happened in respect to uh, yesterday's event. Now, we're right across the street from Churchland High School. If you look back here through this wooded area, uh, back far back there is the bus yard where all of this happened about 1.30 yesterday afternoon. According to police, these two female bus drivers got into a verbal altercation that then escalated into a physical fight before they were broken up. Now, I want to pull up the pictures of the two women as I walk you through what happened after after that because police say it didn't end by far at that point in time when they were broken up. In fact, police say that uh, Sharon Carter Brooks went to her personal vehicle, got a stun gun and came back and shocked uh, Vonda Broswell several times after that initial fight had taken place and been broken up. Uh, they say that uh, at that point in time, uh, Miss Carter Brooks was restrained and coming back out here live. I do want to let you know both of the women were taken into custody because of the initial fight. Fight. They were both charged with assault and battery, but Miss Carter Brooks was also charged with having a stun gun on school property because, like we said, that bus yard is here on Churchland High School's property. Now, for the parents and the guardians out there, there were no children in the area or on the buses when all of this happened. In fact, we're told that the women were on their way to their afternoon bus runs when the fight took place. So we're going to continue to get in new information. We'll pass that along to you throughout the day here on the air and also at wavy.com. Stick with us tonight for our 90 minutes of news and a full report. Anita Blanton in Portsmouth, 10 on your side.